Hey guys, this is Inglorious Bastards. Both of them are from James Bond movies that I just seen. Blofeld and Madeline. Do they have a plan about if Nazis come? What they would do to them? Like poison, whatever they give them? I've heard that the Führer has put you in charge of running up the Jews left in France. Who are either hiding or passing for Gentile? The Germans looked to my house nine months ago for hiding Jews and found nothing. All the Jewish families in this area have been accounted for, except the Dreyfuses. We heard the Dreyfuses had made their way into Spain. Having never met the Dreyfuses, would you confirm for me the exact members of the household and their names? They're under the house. They're under the house. Well, I guess that should be. But you're aware of what they call me. Dickhead. Makes me such an effective hunter of the Jews is, as opposed to most German soldiers, I can think like a Jew. If a rat were to scamper through your front door right now, would you greet it with hostility? I suppose I would. Has a rat ever done anything to you to create this animosity you feel toward them? Any disease a rat could spread, a squirrel could equally carry. Would you agree? I assume you don't share the same animosity with squirrels that you do with rats, do you? You don't like them. You don't really know why you don't like them. All you know is you find them repulsive. May I smoke my pipe as well? <laughs> oh, that's a pipe. And that reward will be your family will cease to be harassed in any way by the German military during the rest of our occupation of your country. You're sheltering enemies of the state, are you? Shit. Point out to me the areas where they're hiding. Since I haven't heard any disturbance, I assume while they're listening, they don't speak English. French now, and I want you to follow my mask around so clear. Fuck. Fuck. The music, man. It's terrifying. Run into the forest. Wait, did he not shoot her by choice or did his gun jam? My name is Lieutenant Aldo Ray. And I'm putting together a special team. I need me eight soldiers. Eight Jewish American soldiers. And our battle plan be that of an Apache resistance. We will be cruel to the Germans. And through our cruelty, they will know who we are. And they will find the evidence of our cruelty. 
and the disemboweled, dismembered, and disfigured bodies of their brothers we leave behind us. Each and every man under my command owes me 100 Nazi scalps. Like legit scalps? Damn, he's all messed out. He reminds me of the cartoon versions of Hitler. The ones that Looney Tunes did. Shit, they uh, oh, they're actually scalping? Damn. Which year? In Austria, you got the fuck out of Munich while that kid was good. Came American. Got drafted. Come back to give you a work for Another one up there you might be familiar with. Sergeant Hugo Stiglitz. Heard of him? Everybody in the German army said of Hugo Stiglitz. <laughs> Hugo Stiglitz. As a German enlisted man, he killed 13 Gestapo officers. Instead of putting him up against the wall, Fucking hell! The Shit! Once the bastards heard about him, he never got there. Pink mist. <laughs> yeah. Whether or not you're gonna leave this ditch alive depends entirely on you. You gotta tell me how many they are, and you gotta tell me what kind of artillery they're carrying with them. See that? Yes. Sergeant Donnie Donowitz. You might know him better by his nickname. The Bear Jew. He's killed soldiers with a club. He bashes the brains in with a baseball bat when he talks. And Werner, I'm going to ask you one last time. You tell him that you still expect to refuse him. Call him the Bear Jew. Fuck you. And your Jew dogs. Quite frankly, watching Donnie's Nazis, that's close. We ever get anyone moves. Donnie! Yeah! That's German here, wants to die for the country. Damn. Come to point out on this map the German position. Don't take us off the carte, where the Deutsche Stellung is. You can't tell them you told us what you told us, they'll shoot you. They're gonna wanna know why you so special. We let you live. So tell them, we let you live so you can spread the word through the ranks what's gonna happen to every natural thing. How? How? Is that opium or coke? If you take off that uniform, ain't nobody gonna know you's a Nazi. And that don't sit well with us. So I'm gonna give you this something you can't take off. Shit. Shoshana. Hmm. 
She's disgusted by you. Just leave. You're a fucking piece of shit occupier. No one asked you. Can she leave and you fuck off now? Eat shit and die. And she's gonna fall in love with this guy. The nice Nazi. Yeah. Okay, now leave. Oh my god. You're a German Nazi. Oh, he's a German movie star or something? Uh, gross. Is that supposed to impress her? What do you mean good you came? Fucking dickhead. God, what a freak. Yeah, I was just about to say. <sighs> they feel like they can do whatever the fuck they want. All occupiers are like that. Fuck you. Oh my god. But no way he recognizes her. And he didn't see her face, she just she was running away. Oh my god. He's playing with her. Yes. Avec la collection de 350 films nitrates de Madame Mimieux. Because nitrate film burns three times faster than paper. Shoshana has a collection of over 350 films. Nice. Oh, yeah, prop propaganda factory. Films made in the last three years, but I'm familiar with it. Goebbels considers the films he's making to be the beginning of a new era in German cinema. 
an alternative to what he considers the Jewish-German intellectual cinema of the 20s and the Jewish-controlled dogma of Hollywood. How's he doing? Hi, Commissioner Once again? He's saying he wants to take on the Jew. That's not supposed to be yeah. Churchill? Lieutenant Hickox, at this point in time, I'd like to brief you on Operation Keener. In attendance at this joyous, germatic occasion, the big Gengels, Goering, Bormann, and most of the German high command, including all high-ranking officers of both the SS and the Gestapo, as well as luminaries of the Nazi propaganda film industry. So the whole crew. We have all our rotten eggs in one basket. Yeah. The objective of Operation Kino? An American Secret Service had that lives deep behind enemy lines would be your assist. The Germans call them the bastards. The bastards. You'll be dropped into thoughts about 24 kilometers outside of Paris. The bastards will be waiting for you. <laughs> First thing, you'll go to a little village. The bastards will be waiting for you. In their deen, there's a tavern called La Louisiane. There you'll run with our double agent. She took it from there. A German movie star was working for England. He said it was in a tavern. It is a tavern. Yeah, in a basement. You know, fighting in a basement offers a lot of difficulties. Number one being you're fighting in a basement. Yeah, he's gonna gut someone with that thing. Definitely. He reminds me of Hightower in the Police Academy movies. No, not Hightower. Taco Berry. Ich bin gleich bei euch. Ich verabschiede mich nur noch von meinen fünf neuen Freunden hier. She's like, I thought they said it, it will be a place without Germans. There's a lot of Germans there. Shit, so there's gonna be like two types of explosions in one place? Damn. Yeah. Yeah, fuck off. Shit. What? Oh, was he whipped by that guy? gonna say slaves yeah 
Schauspiel. Ja. Bin ich die Geschichte des Negers in Amerika? Nein. Also da muss ich King Kong sein. Oh. 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 Bravo. Also wer ist der Nächste? Damn. He's gonna rip his throat up. Und wir haben uns lange nicht gesehen. Also Sturm, mein Führer. Ich fürchte, sie stören. Seriously, was it like a normal thing that Nazis just invite themselves places and sit down at random people's tables? Was that normal? What charms? Fuck off. You're a slimy Nazi with a weak chin. God, I just want to stomp on his face. Yeah. Yeah. What now, you fucking bitch? Well, if this is it, old boy, I hope you don't mind if I go out speaking to King. By all means, Cap. Oh my! Whoa! Oh shit! Fuck! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shit. What the fuck? Oh, this guy survives. <laughs> Everyone you killed had a kid or a mom or a dad fuck off you're not special you piece of shit fucking dickhead oh she's alive then put your gun away you piece of shit Yeah, fuck you, Wilhelm. Before we yank that slug out, you need to answer a few questions. The British officer blew his German like on the Gestapo Major sword. Mm. I can see, since you didn't see what happened inside, that the Nazis being there must look odd. Yeah, we got a word for that kind of odd in English. It's called suspicious. Oh. Ooh. Oh. The Germans being there was either... A trap set by me. Oh, a tragic coincidence. It couldn't be both. Mm. He ordered three glasses. He ordered three glasses. That's the German sleeve. Oh, are you I fucking so. kidding me? You still get us in that premium? You speak German better than your friends? Okay. Have I been shot? Yes. I don't see me tripping the light Ponta Steak up at Carpet anytime soon. There have been two recent developments regarding Operation Kino. One. The venue has been changed from the Ritz to a much smaller one. Norm's changed at the last minute. It's not very dramatic. Why the hell is Gerbil doing stuff so damn peculiar? It probably has something to do with the second development. Which he is? Whoa! Did they say that before? The doggy dog's gonna dig that slug out your jam. He's gonna wrap it up in a cast. And you got a good how I broke my leg mountain climbing story. That's German, ain't it? Y'all like climbing mountains, don't you? I know. I like smoking, drinking, and ordering in restaurants. Party. Germans don't have a good ear for it. I'm an Italian, I'm brazen through it. That's about it. 
Sounds like shit. What else? Yeah. Go home? Sounds like a half assed plan. You know it. He'll be your Italian cameraman. Omar, third most, he'll be Donnie's assistant. I'm speaking Italian. Like I said, third best. Let's keep your fucking mouth shut. In fact, why don't you start practicing right now? Mmm. <laughs> Oh. Hmm. Yes, war paint. Yes, ma'am. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. She's like, I'm gonna kill all you motherfuckers. <laughs> oh my god. Bongiorno? What a shit accent. You can't even, like, just try to make it better. Shit. Double explosion. Can't wait. La grande bataille du tireur embusqué arrive vers la fin de la troisième bobine. Donc tu arrives à la quatrième bobine. Donc vers le milieu de la troisième, tu descends, tu traverses la queue. Tu as un signal. Tu as un signal. Are they gonna stay in or are they gonna get out? Yeah, yeah. God, he's so demented and sick. He enjoys this shit housery. Scumbag. Fucking occupier. Filth. Shit. Well, there is still Shoshana. Yeah. What is wrong with you, man? Get a grip. Get me someone on the other end of that radio with the power of the pen to authorize my, let's call it, the terms of my conditional surrender. What? Long story short, we hear a story too good to be true. Exactly. Every once in a while, fate reaches out and extends its hand. Bullshit. That she's the hero and him. Let's go. When the military history of this night is written, it will be recorded that I was part of Operation Kino from the very beginning as a double agent. 
anything I've done in my guise as an SS colonel was sanctioned by the OSS as a necessary evil to establish my cover with the Germans. What a slimy piece of shit. I want my full military pension and benefits under my proper rank. I want to receive the Congressional Medal of Honor for my invaluable assistance in the toppling of the Third Reich. In fact, I want all the members of Operation Kino to receive the Congressional Medal of Honor. I would like the United States of America to purchase property for me on Nantucket Island as a reward for all the countless lives I've saved. Please let this guy have a horrible death. No, oh, is he gonna fuck things up? Die slow, motherfucker. Because it's bullshit and you made it up? Kill him. Kill him. Shoot him in the head. What are you doing? Shit, man. Cool weapons. And I want you to look deep into the face of the Jew who is going to do it. That's a great sign off. Amazing. But I bet she would have loved to see it though. Yes! Quentin Tarantino! My name is Shoshana Dreyfus, and this is the face of the Jewish vengeance. Love it. Yeah, that's beautiful. I hope this happens to all occupiers all over the world. Because that's what you deserve. Shoshana, you legend. No, this guy shouldn't get a fucking happy ending. This guy has to die a gruesome fucking death. Like, I want some... Creative Quentin Tarantino esque bloody red amazingness. Don't disappoint me. You'd have been to cuff Colonel's hand behind his back. Oh, really yeah, you fucker. Yes. 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 What have you done? Yes, 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 I yes, yes. I made a deal with you turtles for that man's life! You get to your little place on Nantucket Island. What, he is? You won't take off that handsome look from SSU. No! Ain't you? So they're gonna go through the fucking deal? At some point, you gotta have to take it off. So, we'll give you something you can't take off. Yes. Yeah! 
Yeah, try to live in Nantucket with that thing on your head. Okay, I'm disappointed they didn't kill him, but he's gonna live with a swastika on his head, so that's good too. I'm happy. Great events, great story. Changes uh, history again. Um, I love it. Shots were great. Uh, acting, the action, twists. Yeah, not bad. <laughs>